Hi everyone and welcome to the Wooey Blogs preview of Ireland's Your Song 2015. I'm Park and I'm in Ireland and today I'm joined by Denise in the Netherlands and Mikhail in the Czech Republic. Um, hi. Hi hi. So I suppose the first thing is are you guys excited for Your Song tomorrow? Yes, I'm really, really excited. Um, there are two songs that I absolutely love, so I can't wait to hear them live. And um, which one uh, Ireland will pick? Yeah. Yeah, me too. There are two great songs, as Denise said, Nikki and Erica. They're amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to save the best to last because we're going to preview each song in the order um, that the Wee Wee Jury ranked it. Um, you can read all our jury rankings over on Wee Wee Blogs. But let's just start with a man. He managed to get one eight from our jury members. The next highest score was four. His overall average was 2.95. It's Alex Saint, which he's so fine. Now this is a rap song and I don't think people like it very much. What do you think, Denise? <laughs> No, it's no surprise that he scored the lowest points. Um, this song is, yeah, just horrible. And he will never get Ireland back in the finals. And please, Ireland, don't send him. And I don't think they will. So I, I hope I'm right. And um, I have to admit that rap songs aren't my favorite. And um, the only songs with rap in it in Eurovision that I liked were Grease last year and The Simpson in 2006. But I only liked the schoolgirl singing part, so not even the <laughs> rapping part. So, <laughs> well, yeah, he didn't really have a fair chance with me. But no, no, I really don't like this. Uh, this song is awful. Like, <laughs> I don't like it at all. Even so, I like some rap songs so in the Eurasian history, like Ikramka from Montenegro, which was really good, especially with good chorus from Nina Zizic. Uh, but that's it. This song doesn't have anything, like no powerful chorus, no good yeah. rap part. And even just the lyrics, like I looked at them, like he's singing about the birds and the bees and how she's better than money. and. That's not really a good way to impress a girl, is it, Denise? If, if a man came up to you and sang that, would, would you go running? No, I would say, <laughs> okay, bye, never see you again. <laughs> mm. And Mike, one of our jurors on the panel, um, said that he had to go and flush his head out with Jedward after listening to it. And I think that was probably a very good idea. <laughs> so we we'll just leave Alex and move on to our second last place in our jury table. And that's Kat Mahan with Anybody Got a Shoulder to Cry. And she may be second last, but compared to Alex, she's winning big time. She's got a jury average of 5.2, which is almost three points higher than Alex. So, guys, what do you think of Kat? Um, it's a little boring. It's just a lullaby. It makes me want to sleep. And, yeah, it's way better than, um, yeah, the other one. But still really bad. And Ireland has sent, yeah, these kind of songs way too much. And I'm really tired of them sending those songs and well her voice is good and it, it sounds really vulnerable and it's just a song but it's just not it it's just too boring yeah, it's really boring and uh, she sounds like a teenage girl singing about her problems like and nobody's caring about her uh, so i don't know her voice is not really nice I don't like it. Yeah, it's kind of awkward because I interviewed her. You can see this interview if you click here. And she's such a nice person and she was so nice. And like it was really kind of you felt bad saying that you didn't like the song. But this, the song is Ireland in the 90s. Yeah. It's what Ireland won with in the past. It, it doesn't work anymore. And no matter how good a singer was singing it, I think it would struggle. Um, and the jury obviously agreed with that. Um, Kristen had an interesting point saying that she could imagine Kat in a Andrew Lloyd Webber musical um, in rags on the back of the stage singing about poverty. And that's probably right. It's not quite as harsh. Mike, once again, <laughs> said that she should be shipped off with Axel Hersu on a cruise ship. Yeah, I think that's a bit harsh. But anyways, Kat at the moment is fourth in her juries. Mm -hmm. Next is Molly Sterling. She's only slightly ahead of Kat with 5.7. What do you guys think of her song, Playing With Numbers? Mm, it 
it's a good song. Maybe a little too boring, but yeah, it's kind of good. And um, the reason why I don't want Ireland to pick this song is just because they have two way better songs. And it would be a shame if they would send this instead of those two. Um, but if there was another country and they would have picked this, I would have liked it. So it's just because the other songs are better. And I think, um, yeah, well, she's really young and it surprised me, but it might be the charm of this song. And I think if she will come back in a few years, she can do way, way better than this. Uh, this is a great start, but she can do better. And I really want to see her again in a few years. Yeah, it's a nice ballad. Uh, she reminded me a little bit of Adele. Uh, but it's not so memorable, even so it's really nice and lovely tune. Well, I don't think it should go. And what do you think of the whole you brought up that she's so young? She's only 16 and she's singing a song about the end of this huge, massive love affair. And you're kind of thinking, at 16, who has she been in love with so much to make her write a song like this? Do you think, will it look strange that if she did make it to Eurovision, there's a 16-year-old singing such a powerful ballad about, about mm, such a misery? Maybe, but I think there are a lot of people who don't listen to the lyrics, but are just listening to the music itself. So I don't mm. think a lot of people will notice it. So you think it's more the song rather than her age, that's the issue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she doesn't look like she's 16 uh, in the video. So if it depends on the her performance on stage. It's probably a lot down to staging the video. There's a lot of shaded lights mm -hmm. and stuff. I think it hides um, her true age. But anyways, everybody, we're kind of talking about the also rounds at the moment because everybody's desperate to talk about just two. <laughs> um, <laughs> so next up, second in our jury is Nikki Kavanagh with Memories, and she's gotten 7.35. She actually got the most tens, but she's <coughs> not top. Um, obviously, you guys were impressed by her, Denise. Yes, I really, really, really like this one, and um, yeah, well, it's my favorite together with Erica Swan. What a surprise! Um, <laughs> but I was a big fan of Nikki in 2011 when she participated in the national final. I loved um, Falling, but I think this song is way better than Falling, so, well, a masterpiece might be a little too <laughs> big for it, but it's really great, and I can't wait to hear this song live, And but there are a lot of high and long notes in this song, so I know Nikki has a great voice, but I, know, I don't know if she can handle this, because it's so big, so I'm really curious about it, but yeah, I trust her, so I think she will do a great job. Yeah, that's a great song. I love it so much. But uh, yeah, all those high notes, uh, I'm afraid that she can not make it like Amber did not. Uh, but the song, it's so emotional. I can feel those emotion running through the whole song and it's very powerful. I like it. And Nikki is proven very popular amongst the Euro fans. But she's not really a household name in Ireland. So do you think, do you, would you still like the song even if you took Falling out of the equation and she was a brand new singer and you'd never heard her before? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, I've never no. heard it before, so. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Qualifier, if, if she was sent, would she make it out? Is Ireland in the first or second semi-final? Second. Second. Semi. Oh, definitely. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> Okay, so then lastly, we move on to a lady who's top of our wee wee jury, and she's got a score of 8.15, and that's Erica Sellen with Break Me Up. Now, we interviewed Erica, and she seems like a lovely, charming lady, and don't, don't be fooled by her serene personality. In Break Me Up, she sings, I've got a weapon, and it's spelled revenge. So she's fierce beneath the lovely exterior. Denise, what do you think? I love it. Yeah, it's amazing. I keep playing this song over and over again. And, well, yeah, the only sad thing is that she isn't from Ireland. And I don't mind about it because I like the song. So I don't care if she's from Sweden or South Africa or who cares about it. Um, but I know there are a lot of people who do care about it. So that's a shame because I think she will do great for Ireland. And especially if Timothy, um are their backing vocalists, um, we still don't know if 
they will be there for Erica, but yeah, well, it's the only candidate that If the be. rumor just start, the rumor hardly started out of nowhere, so it's looking promising. Yeah, so I really yeah. hope they will be there with her because Erica is amazing, Timothée is amazing, so I think there will be, yeah, a magical combination, and yeah, I really, really like it. So, and I do think that it will go between Erica and Nikki, so I think I will be glad anyway, but. Yeah, I can't choose my favorite between them. Um, they're both great and yeah, both totally different songs. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it a little bit less than Nikki, but still it is an amazing song. And it has really a great tune. I like those whistles, the guitar parts. Uh, uh, but a little bit, I find uh, in correlation with uh, lyrics that uh, she's singing about revenge because uh, she's so fierce, but uh, the melody is so nice and kind. So. Mm. I don't know, this is the only song I've been playing on repeat out of all of the Euro song ones, and it's definitely my personal favorite. But then, as you've said, um, there's the issue then that she's not Irish and she's from Sweden. I think personally that if a Swedish person wants to take the risk to fly the Irish flag at Eurovision, go for it. Because it's not as if internationally it's a huge honour to fly Ireland's flag. Like we have sent Dustin, so she's brave. Um, but what do you think in general about artists? Like um, the other day, Kitty Brucknell got knocked out in Moldova uh -huh. and she's been getting a lot of abuse <coughs> on Twitter that why was she even in Moldova when she's from the UK. Do you guys have a problem with artists singing for other countries that they have no connection with? No, and if you look at um, all the comments when there um, is a new show from Melody Festivale, a lot of people say, oh, why can't another country submit this song because it's great and it's a shame that yeah, we'll never hear this song again after this. And so a lot of people say that they want a song in another national final. But yeah, when it happens, just like with uh, Kitty or now with Erica, a lot of people don't agree with it. So I don't know. They're saying one thing, but when it's happening, they're saying the other thing. And yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that different countries have opportunities uh, to enter the Eurovision for another country. Like even uh, if they don't compete uh, beat at Eurovision, it can burden. Uh, the borders of uh, Eurovision outside of Europe and it's mm. really great it can gather a lot of fans together from like as we saw recently that uh, in Latvia uh, people voted from Kenya and in Indonesia like mm. that's amazing yeah yeah it is a song contest after all so and it's a song contest so bearing that in mind who do you want to win and who do you think will win on Friday night? Um, yeah, Erica, yeah, or of course Nikki. Um, so I don't really care about those, yeah, or who will win. Um, and I think that Nikki will win. Yeah, well, if she delivers life. Okay. Uh, I want Nikki to win and I'm sure she will win. I also would love if Erica will go, but... Anyway, I want Erica to win, but I think it's stacked in Nikki's favor by the looks of things that there's only two standout songs and Nikki is the standout Irish song. Yeah. So um, I think she's going to win. Um, she won't. Be, she'd be a good winner. She's my second favorite, so I'd be quite happy with that. Um, so then you guys, your song, it's on 2235. CET or 2135 GMT on Friday night. We'll have all the links back on Weebly Blogs if you want to find out how to watch. What are you looking forward to about Ireland in general? Leaving the songs aside, do you want to see more Linda Martin madness or do you hope that or do you have stepped up their game? Um, oh, that's a hard one. Well, um, normally I watch the show, but yeah, the only thing I'm looking forward for are the songs. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, of course, everyone uh, noticed the Linda Martin conflict. Uh, I don't think it will happen this year. <laughs> They've learned from the past. Um, so yeah, it's a really hard question. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to see your everyone live performance. And it will be something special, I guess, because 
So if Nikki can deliver the song, it will be amazing. Yeah. Well, hopefully it proves to be a nice taster for the weekend because Super Saturday is the next day and that really is Super Saturday and there's a whole load of national finals on. So at least Ireland have had the courtesy to give us a little break and put it on Friday night instead of Saturday. Um, so Wee Wee Blogs will be reviewing all those national finals, including Melfest and Finland and there's countless ones. I can't name them all. So keep an eye on the channel. Subscribe so that you're up to date with all the latest videos. Go to weeweeblogs.com for all the latest news. So for now, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. <laughs>